Hey everyone, Ryan Richmond here. I'm here with my beautiful model Mary, and today we're gonna show you how to get a sleek high ponytail. It's a very popular look all over the place. Everyone wants to get it, and we're gonna show you how to do it. We prepped her hair with Frizz Fix first, and some blowout cream. And the goal here is to blow dry her hair back off her face towards the direction of where we want the ponytail to go. That's very important. You always want to direct the hair with your blow dryer to where your finished look is gonna end up. Again, the goal here is to get the hair back off the face, sleek and polished. You wanna have your blow dryer nozzle attached so it directs the hair where you want it to go. And I like to lead my blow dry with a brush. Our next step is gonna to be to flat iron the root section by section. We're really just gonna focus on the first inch of hair here from the scalp, about an inch down to get the root as flat as possible. Feel free to spray your heat protectant spray on each section before you flat iron to protect against heat damage. And again, some tension on the hair gonna focus on the first inch of hair to get that nice and smooth and flat. And we'll continue to work through all of the hair. Now that we've gone through and flat ironed the root, we are going to take some strong Flexi Hold hairspray, spray it on our brush, just to start taming some of these flyaways. As we work the hair back off the face. Now, if you're going for an extremely sleek, really tight ponytail, you can use gel. I know a lot of people want to wear their hair the next day and not have to wash it. And oftentimes on my celebrity clients, we're changing looks for a photo shoot or even on red carpets if they're hosting an event. We're going through multiple looks a day. So I usually shy away from gel because I can't rework the hair afterwards. So hairspray and glossy shine mist are the products that we're gonna to use today. So we're gonna begin brushing the hair back. Again, with a high ponytail or any sort of sleek ponytail, you're going to have to brush the hair quite a bit. It does take, take some time to get it perfect. Don't be afraid to take a few minutes to really get the hair into place. You can work in some hairspray as we go. So again, with a sleek ponytail, it's a lot of brushing to get all the hair into place. Don't be afraid to spend a few minutes working the hair where you need it to go. A trick at home, if you have really long hair, it might be easier to flip over upside down and gather the hair at the top of your head and brush it down that way. And that way you can get that ponytail really high if you're going for a really high ponytail. Whatever it takes, work in some hairspray, some glossy shine mist to kind of get the hair 
where you need it to be. Keep working it little by little. And if you have some little kinks that you couldn't get on your initial brush, we will go through and clean those up at the end. Once you have your hair brushed and back into a ponytail, use an elastic. I prefer a bungee cord. For those of you at home, if you don't have these, you should get some. It's just an elastic with two hooks on the end. It makes it really easy to get this ponytail tight. So you put one hook in underneath. And we can kind of wrap. And it's a really easy way to get some tension ponytail. Like so. Pull it tight. And again, if you want it super tight, you can work in some gel on your hands. You can put it through here. Don't run your gel through the ponytail because we're going to be styling this later. Possibly, maybe you want to put some wave in it, curling iron. So avoid the gel here, tie your hair up. I'm going to use some glossy shine mist. You can use a comb. You can spray it on your comb. And what I like to do, instead of sticking the comb in, what you want to do is kind of lay the comb flat so you're not really picking up any hair. You're just kind of pulling it back, smooth everything back towards your elastic. Like so. To finish, we're gonna use some strong Flexi Hold hairspray. Again, leading with a brush or a comb lightly to tame any flyaways. Back here, I'm going to clean this up the same way. Making sure we get all the little baby hairs in place. And to elevate our high ponytail, we don't want to see this elastic. So we're going to go ahead and take a section of hair as clean as possible. Spray it with some glossy shine mist, maybe even some hairspray. Feel free to get it a little wet. To take this look even further, we're going to add a braid to the back. We're going to do a fishtail braid today. When you're braiding, it's always nice to have a little product on your hands just to kind of grip the hair. Feel free to use some sculpting taffy. Work it through your hands. It'll give your hands a little bit of grip. So today we're going to do a fishtail braid. And the key here is to split the hair into two equal sections. It looks about right. And all we're doing really is taking small section of hair from the back of one section, pulling it over the top of this section and adding it to your other one. 
It looks complicated, but honestly, I think it's easier than a regular braid once you get it started. So we'll take our section here, pull it back, smooth the hair as you go. I like to use a finger and kind of like hook it over the top, like so. Come from the back, over the top. And once we get a few sections done, you'll be able to see how this comes together. And the smaller the section you take from the back, the more detailed your braid will be. If you want a lot of texture and a really tight fish braid, you'll take smaller sections. And you can kind of see how that's coming together. So again, holding the center with my thumb, you're really just hooking a section from the back. You don't have to be too picky on the size. Just keep working. All the way down. As you work, if you have flyaways that you need to tame, use some strong flexi hold hairspray. To kind of help you as you go. Braids are a really great, easy style for a red carpet. Do them a lot for photo shoots. They're an easy transition from a ponytail to a braid. You know, if you're wearing a ponytail during the day and you wanna go out with your friends at night or you're going to a nice dinner or a party, keep your ponytail, rework your ponytail, add a braid. This is a great way to dress up a style that you already had. Again, her hair is getting a little hard to work with. So we'll use some hairspray and keep working our way down. Once you get the hang of this, it's pretty easy. This was the first braid I actually learned how to do. Again, taking a small section with your finger hooked from the back and over the top to the other side. That's it. And then to finish, you can decide how much hair you want to leave out at the bottom. If you like it a little undone at the bottom, you can leave that much. I'm going to take it a little bit further. And again, you can see the detail coming together in the braid. Don't worry about it being perfect. We're gonna kind of, I'm gonna show you how to spread it apart and finish it. So you don't have to worry about it being perfect. So we're gonna go to about there. To finish, we'll just add an elastic at the bottom. Take your time with your elastic, the cleaner it looks. I like to lay it all on top of each other so we have a really clean finish here. Take your time, don't be sloppy. Make sure you're pulling all the hair through. All these little details will really elevate your look and make it look a lot more high end. that. There you have it. And now to add some more detail and really make your fishtail shine, I like to start at the bottom and we're going to just use our fingers to kind of mess it up and spread it apart like so. You can start out small 
And then some of the shorter pieces of hair will start to kind of pull out. You get a little more volume. You can kind of pick how messy you want it to be. Add a little dry texturizing spray. Keep working it sort of to the size that you want it. Get a nice shape going. And there you go. Now, to take this look even further, maybe we'll do kind of a high bun with our fishtail braid. That looks pretty cool. So I just wrap it randomly. It might take you a few tries to get it right. I really like where this is going, so I'm gonna go ahead and pin this here with a couple pins. And when you're pinning, you wanna make sure you're pinning underneath your hair tie. That'll help secure your look for a long time so nothing falls out. And again, with bobby pins, you wanna actually, most people put the smooth side down. It's actually a little grippier and a little better when you put the bumpy side down. I like to leave the tail out. It's up to you, you can decide. I like it a little asymmetrical and fun. Let's go ahead and hide this pin a little better. You have one more? Great. Maybe we'll tuck the tail just a little bit. Again, a sleek high bun or ponytail is a really easy, great way to elevate your look for a party, a night out, dinner with friends, holidays, wherever you're going. It always looks chic, nice, tight, sleek, and shiny. Thanks again, I'm Ryan Richmond. I'll see you guys soon.